615, I'd like to call this regularly scheduled Planning and Zoning Commission meeting to order. Um, today is May 23rd, and uh, may I have a roll call, please? Delorey? Here. Mata? Here. Onken? Here. Gara? Here. Stiegel? Here. James? Here. Chase? Thank you. We have a quorum. Next item is citizen comments. At this time, any members of the public would like to speak. We invite you up now. This is the planning and zoning meeting. There will be a joint planning and zoning and city council workshop uh, after this meeting. But if you'd like to speak during, during the planning and zoning meeting, you may. We ask that you limit your time to three minutes, that you fill out a citizen comments form, and that you state your name for the record. You may come up now. Seeing none, I'm going to go close citizen comments. Next, item number four, consent agenda. We have consent agenda items A and B. With a motion? Yes, sir. I move that we approve items 4 A and B on the consent agenda. Thank you. It's been moved that we could, that we approve consent agenda items A and B. Is there a second for that motion? Second. Thank you. It's been moved um, by Commissioner James, seconded by Commissioner Stiegel. Is there any discussion on that motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. Motion passes. Item number five, consider impossible action. 5A, consider a request by Brett Corwin of Intermendeco GP LLC to remove trees associated with the Paramount Section 4 subdivision plans. Uh, Mr. Atkinson. There we go. Uh, Will Atkinson, planning director for the record. And before you, we have a request to remove uh, two specimen trees uh, per our Chapter 54 um, uh, landscaping code, most told Homestead subdivision. And um, this uh, project is um, it is a Paramount subdivision. It has a concept plan that is enabled through a development agreement that they have. And uh, working with the developer, um, they've done a lot to actually try to make sure they do what they can to mitigate trees and try to work around it. But in these two cases, in this section of the uh, subdivision, um, the, the layout and the design, it does not allow for a practical um, replacement of the trees for the most part. So um, what they are going to, what they're requesting is to remove two trees totaling 112 caliper inches. We require uh, a replacement of a two to one ratio but uh, 76 of those caliper inches they're going to be able to replace on site with two inch caliper trees. They don't want to overcrowd the site with the rest of the trees, so the remaining balance of 36 inches comes out to a value of $5,400 that would be paid to our tree replacement fund. And that's the request before you. And I can also show you uh, the existing uh, topo and proposed topo that they're having with this subdivision as well. So on the screen um, in this section, you can see the two locations for tree 1828 and tree 5579. And they're in close proximity to the street. Tree uh, 5579 is actually internal to a, a developable residential site. And the reason why it would, even if they tried to preserve it, the grade between existing and proposed grade for making it a developable site is a significant change. And so, it's approximately uh, an eight foot difference. So the, when you're doing fill and what have you, you do not put eight feet of fill around an existing tree. So that's why they're proposing to remove that. And then for the other tree, it, um, it is being, the tree is in, on the adjacent right away. And so the grade for the, the street as it's coming down, um, it needs to be at a certain grade. And to do so in the, for the proposed train, they're bringing the grade down on the proposal of the, of the street versus the natural ground that's in place. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what we have. Um, staff does support this request, considering they are replacing as many as they can on site. It does seem reasonable, and uh, we, are, we are good with them moving, um, paying $5,400 into the tree fund as well. Thank you. Are there any questions for staff? Okay, I got a couple. Um, first, I'm sorry, you said two inch caliper trees is what they're using to replace it with? Yes. I, I'm trying to remember back when Howard was here, mm -hmm. I thought we changed it to three. 
Or it was three, and then we went down to... I don't remember yes. what it was. So back in 2016, it was four. Okay. And then within that year, it went down to three. And we actually went, brought it down to two. Okay. Um, since then. So. Okay. So the minimum tree when you plant on site is a two-inch caliper tree. So that's how we account for it in the ratios. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And um, so only the trees that are 25 caliper inches or more come be to us, correct? Correct. You said that they did their best to save as many trees as they could. Um, so I guess my question is here in Paramount Section 4, how many trees above 25 caliper did they save for that section? I mean, are these two the only two in that area, or are there other ones that are there? These are the two that they could not adjust their plans around. Right. Right. I, so I, I understand that. I don't have that answer specifically to, for you. Uh, you do have it? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, sure. Please. Thank you. Uh, please state your name for the record. Yeah. Brett Corwin. I'm the developer on the yes, project. Sir. So I think what Will is referring to in Section 3, the one that we're building right now, we actually had a 99 caliper inch tree mm -hmm. and so in develop you know putting together those plans we came and met with will and we did we because we had an improved preliminary plot and to avoid that tree we took out a section of street we deleted a couple lots like we we went we did everything we could to avoid that tree and and we did and mm -hmm. i mean it's it's out there and it looks i mean it looks great it's going to actually be a nice part of the community, so that's um, that's what Will's okay. referring to. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Are there any larger trees in Section Four no. that are not I mean, there's, these two? There's some protected trees, but we've we've left all the trees that we could on the lots. Right. So, but every tree that is left, well, I'm just asking: Are these the only two trees? Yeah, these in are that the area only two specimen that trees. Are the, yeah, uh, the, the, that are 25 inches or more? Yeah, I'd have okay. to look at the the lot the the tree survey again, but yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, any other questions for staff? Would anyone like to make a motion? I make a motion. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah. I, uh, I move that we uh, accept the plan as presented. Second. I accept the other. Thank you. It's been moved by Commissioner uh, Delory, seconded by Commissioner James, to approve item 5A. Um, is there any discussion on that motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Nay. Okay. Thank you. Motion passes. Item number six, adjournment. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes.